Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever, the Square England Let's Play series. And we're starting here in Exeter at our fabulous long distance intercontinental whatever it is bus station. <laughs> Just to show off, before they disappear entirely, uh, a couple of uh, bus mods that I've uh, recently put on, the, on a couple of lines here in Exeter. Because the other ones were getting a bit old and uh, inexpensive. And they weren't keeping up with demand. Oh, we've hit a new... Just, ooh, ooh, heck. All right, let's pause the game for a second while we wait. Oh, vehicle 105. Who are you? I don't know. Oh, there you go. Uh, oh, 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 my goodness. Someone's been putting a lot of new mods into their game, haven't they? <laughs> Dear me. Oh, even more buses and stuff. Oh, Shinkansen's. Right. Okay, we may or may not get to see some of those as we go through. Okay. Oh, I think I actually dealt with you, Mr. Vehicle, haven't I? Yes, I have. Uh, we'll actually go and see you, actually, uh, before we uh, start on the main thrust. Of the no, um, again, they're, they're, they're just, they're um, uh, Swiss, Bern. That's in Switzerland, isn't it? Um, they're, they're just sort of... Uh, long, um, what do they call, what, bendy buses, that's what we call them over here in the UK, at least. They're probably known by some other name elsewhere in the world, um, but they're rather nice models. They come in a couple of variants, there's that one. Uh, it's actually taken the the, the vehicle colour here, which is quite nice. Not every mod does that, obviously if it's being true to a particular livery or a particularly particular brand or company identity, it won't let you fiddle with that by adding uh, custom colours, but this, this model does. Um, and there's that model as well, which again has taken the, the colours and indeed logo um, that I've put on there. <laughs> a bit of a rubbishy sort of Great Western logo. Well, no, no, the logo is fine, but it's, it's kind of not entirely in keeping with the bus, is it? But they're right, again, they're just rather nice vehicles. Um, that's why we started here. Um, and I, so I've actually been replacing these old. Uh, trucks serving Coventry. Ooh, oh my goodness me! <clears throat> Bit of a traffic jam here. Uh, this is one thing perhaps that Transport Fever 2 might fix and sort out for us and give us better control over traffic and, in particular, AI traffic, <clears throat> which can lead to some quite horrific. Uh, traffic jams and congestion issues like this, which of course you could probably sort out yourself by providing adequate, appropriate transport um, facilities for the various citizens of all the towns. Um, but yeah, what I've done, did I thought I saw one here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, again, it's um, it's a standard. Uh, what is that vehicle actually called? If I click on that, it'll tell me. 40 tons truck. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the of many variants of brand. Oh, it's Aldi, is it? <laughs> I can't spot it. Uh, Hoff oh, oh, it's not Aldi, it's Hoffer. I think well, I think that's the Aldi logo, isn't it? So maybe is that the German uh, or uh, whatever that part of Europe? Is that the name for, for Aldi over there? Oh, you learn something new every day. It could be Lidl, but I don't think that is Lidl, is it? No. Uh, anyway, yeah, those those old trucks were getting um, were getting old and rusty and stuff, so I thought I'd replace them. Anyway, what have we got in store for you today? Now, in the last episode, uh, getting all the way back over here to this part of the map, there we go. We're doing some more work with our our new sort of goods hub here. Uh, sort of, uh, this is north of Bristol, isn't it? Yes, we've kind of got the map upside down. Where is this? No, it's not north of Bristol. There's Bristol. Uh, it's north of Thiel, uh, but it is part of the Bristol region, as it were. Yeah, we're setting up um, goods routes into Bristol and to Yate. And I did mention at the beginning of that episode, I'd like to do something with Felixstowe. And that's the main thrust of today's episode. I'm going to start trying to feed more um, cargo into Felixstowe. We're already del delivering fuel and construction materials. Uh, coming from this um, fuel hub here, which has been around for donkey's years, absolutely ages. But I want to start introducing food and any other stuff that we're producing on the map. <laughs> so we'll have a crack at that. But before we do, uh, again, a couple of old vehicles that 
I'm going to sort out. Uh, over this side of the map we've got the trains which are taking oil, crude oil, from the well here, which is at its maximum production capacity, which is rather nice to see, into the, the hub here. And also, is that the Thatcham train? No, it's, oh it is, it is. Yes, it goes out that way. That's fine. Uh, so we're dealing with both of you. So what have we got on here? Thatcham oil. Uh, okay. So you are 141. And there you are. And 75 miles an hour. That's fine. What can we replace you with? Uh, is that? I think. It's, well, don't. Um, zoom control. Missing. Uh, that looks like a. Is that a cantograph? Is that the appropriate term? I think it is. Yep, so that's an electric, is it? So, you know, this whole line is electrified, in fact. Oh, I haven't been to the depot yet, so a little wait while it gets the, uh, the manufacturing, the train availability, the vehicle availability uh, screens into view. So, let's uh, electrics. Uh, oh, no. Did we have. Is the 141 still here? What's the power on that? 2310, and it's good. Ooh. Okay. You'd be even better, wouldn't you? You're, f f that's, you're the same speed, more powerful. Uh, how much are you costing me? Three fifty-nine a year. Most of that, of course, is going to be the wagons, I imagine. Oh, one four three. One five six. You don't need that much power, obviously. So, is there a? Oh, you're 1.29, you're a little less powerful. You look rather sleek as well, actually. And of course, a proper British uh, locomotive. Ooh, you're not as, you're not as powerful, you've got, you don't need any, anything that fast. That's, that's just ludicrous. Although you are actually relatively cheap. <laughs> Again, because you're not that powerful, I imagine. Uh, no, 156. We don't need to go that far in terms of, well, certainly not that far in terms of power. Yeah, I think we're getting into over egging it now. These, these new vehicles are all a bit too fast and or too powerful for the needs of this small line. We could go down really. It's only a short line, isn't it, from the well to the refinery there. So we could do with something like a shunter, but uh, yeah, we might need two of those there. That they're, they're, I'm, not, I'm not too concerned about going slower, uh, but we do want it to be able to achieve it in relatively good time. No, they're all these. Really fabulous looking new locos. I like the look of that one. But 143 miles an hour? We don't need that. Not for this line. Uh, now, what was that one we saw earlier? <laughs> if only I could remember stuff. Not you. you. You were some way up here, weren't you? If I remember right. Well, actually, you're, you only go 68, but you're that much more powerful. Again, we don't need that much oomph in our locomotive. Oh, you're French. You're too fast. No. Got to go back through this list again, haven't we? Well, you were the Virgin train, won't be? Yeah, you just, you doesn't need that speed. <laughs> it just, I mean, you're actually even more powerful, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an option, perhaps. Uh, no, uh, these were probably the ones I was looking at, wasn't it? Yeah, so we could. That That is a German locomotive, I believe. So we could replace it with another one. But I rather like that dark red. Is that a Bordeaux red? Whatever that means uh, in, in context, I, I really don't know. Okay, so what uh, fuel tanks do we have? Ooh, you carry quite a bit. Uh, you're the standard tank wagon. You carry 15. You go fast. Only one, one six or seven a year. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I think what we'll do here. These, these are rather expensive. Have we got a slightly cheaper one further down? No. We don't need to slow it down that much. No. Okay, right. I dare say some of these are mods. So as as always, the the link to the mod on the Steam Workshop will be in the uh, in the description below. So that's twelve. This uh, so I have uh, forgotten already. Fifteen. So again, we are actually getting our our fuel out of the the, the well fairly swiftly now with the two trains so I, I don't think we need to extend the capacity significantly at all um, yeah that one will will do I think so if we had 12 there we'll make this 10 I think okay and let's replace all of you now Dare say, are you one of those? You are indeed. Let's have a look. See what uh, this this strange thing here, which is a version of the South African flag. Um, I created as a, as a as a test logo myself, and for some reason, it's put it on there, even though I've told the game that I want the, the Great Western Railway logo. It's just got oddly confused at some point. All that, all that looks good, doesn't it? They're they're proper big wagons. Yeah, that's probably more expensive than it was before, but I'm not going to worry too much. Yep. Okay, that one's done, and the other one we are dealing with is there's only one vehicle on this this particular line, and that was the line going to Thatcham. Now this. Um, was never actually profitable for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. But as time has rolled on, uh, it has turned out to actually be, be quite quite a nice little profit earner in its own right. Uh, so, I don't think we need to increase capacity or anything too much here at all. Uh, so we'll take care of you. Again, what are you? Uh, the 218. Just six of those. I imagine, yeah, you're waiting to be full. We'll keep that, I think. And again, no, no particular power to look for. Are you I have a feeling you're diesel, aren't you, down there? Yeah, you certainly are. Let's take care of you. Uh, you're going a bit. That is quite a long route, so we want something with a bit of power and speed. Uh, that we could use. The British Rail logo, couldn't we? The 37. Uh, I have a suspicion. Yeah, the 218s are still here. Uh, you're, uh, you are. Ooh. You're cheaper than the. Uh, you're, sorry, you're more expensive than the, the 37. We could use the 37. I'm, I'm tempted to do that. 58. We don't need anything that powerful. I think that this could. The issue I have with the 37 is it is really underpowered. So if you put a long consist on it, it's going to take forever getting anywhere near its uh, speed. But I think that things we're carrying. Oh! This is a new one. Um, Coloss, Colas Rail. Never heard of them. But it's new this year. We're in, we're in the year 2007, so it's new this year. So, yeah, let's go for it. And uh, we might as well we'll keep with the same tanks on there. There's lots of other places demanding fuel, uh, and they're getting it. So we're never going to be oversupplied, I think, uh, on this route. So let's replace you now.
Oh, you are done. Oh, it's gone down to mediocre. Yeah, you see. But that terrain is mostly flat, so he should be okay, I think. Get out of there. But that's, that is... Again, never heard of them, but that's, again, a nice design. Where's, where's the driver? Um, okay. Maybe he's uh, in, in the uh, facilities. Maybe he's in the cafe or something, waiting for his uh, tanks to fill up before he sets off. Okay, what else have we got here? We've got machinery bulk. This is over by the main Grantham hub. Let's quickly nip over there. All right. Again, I don't think there's a real knee. Ooh, actually, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. It's the bulk we're looking at for the moment. 11, 13 million profit a year. Are we concerned about this line? I don't think we are. Uh, you're quite good there in terms of performance. Uh, how long are you? 219 yards. Unfortunately, although I can tell the game to give me train lengths in yards, it still measures stations in meters. So there's plenty of room there. Uh, the issue is up here. An awful trouble, if you may remember, setting the switches here. But I don't actually need to do that anymore. I don't think so. You're 240, so you could stick another. We've only got the one line, I think, going in there these days, haven't we? Yeah, we did have a line coming in the other direction. That's not an issue anymore. Do you know what? I'm going to extend this. Yeah, let's extend this platform. Make it longer, so I can get a slightly longer train in there. Yeah, we don't need you, don't need you. So I can't simply upgrade you. Terrain alignment. Stuff and nonsense. Right, there's a bit of a hill here, so maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, there we go. Oh, he's happy. Could put a bit of could we put a bit of a curve in here? We can. Where's the curvature? Wrong direction. Too much. That's okay. Yeah, and that should make it easier to meet the incoming tracks. He said, hopefully. Uh, yeah, you need to be high speed. There we go. Missed it. There we go. Can we put a crossover in here? We've got slopes and curves going on, so we might have problems. <laughs> Too much slope. But to be honest, we don't need it. We don't need it. Just need to put our signals on there. There, there you go. And in the other direction. That's fine. Okay, so uh, actually we do want the uh, the line. That's it. What's that? That's the Bowrite 132. Again, it's not electrified. So we go diesel, diesel, diesel. Is. So it must be the loco that's limited to 75, because the Mafia, I think, goes 99. It's a silly speed for 
loose freight. <laughs> hey, my customers don't seem to mind too much. That no, you guys are far too slow. We, we want faster than that, I think. Two, two, three. Okay. Oh, auto save. I love you dearly, but sometimes you just pop up in the most inappropriate of times. Thank you. Oh, come on, give me a little bit more power. Like you. A proper 58. Where's the 137? Uh, the 138, whatever that was. 132, wasn't it? 132. You've gone entirely out of uh, production now. Yep, looks like you have. So we're going to have to use... Well, I, I'm more than happy to use a 58. Yep, it's uh, 80, which is fine fast, and it's more powerful than that, so I should be able to stick another extra couple of wagons on the back of that, which is handy. So it needs to bring planks up. And as you can see, we have an oversupply of planks at the moment in that station, most of which are destined to come up this route, uh, which is slightly annoying to be honest. I'd rather they went elsewhere, but you can't uh, you can't argue with the game. That's they they carry fourteen, but we're only carrying if I um specify I'm specified planks as such. You no, know, because it needs to bring back tools. Uh, that's the trouble with the state car; it doesn't bring back uh, tools or machines. Uh, these guys could, but they go at 75 miles an hour, which is the speed of that line. So we could use you. Only carry 12, though. Ooh, you, you carry tools, but not machines. I would like to bring machines back as well. I think we might be stuck with an Effie again. Okay, he is a bit of a cheat, but hey ho, he gets us going. Right, so one, two, how many do I have on that? Tw ten. Let's go for twelve. There we go. And replace all of you now. Excellent. Right, so where are you? You're ah, you're on the way up. So should we watch you? Where's the other one? That's twenty-nine, twenty-four. Oh, you're heading into the hub. We'll watch you instead. This is more exciting down here. Oh, racing past the 37, is that, presumably? Magnificent performance. Excellent job. It really is nice, isn't it, seeing a busy station like this. Just trains pulling in, parking up, setting off again. It's fabulous. 1.2 million on that delivery. All very nice. Again, that is a gorgeous model, isn't it? Lovely. Do you have a driver? Can't read. Oh, you've gone. Oh, never mind. He probably has. <laughs> And again, good power rating. You're fine. Okay. And finally, for this little section, uh, we're having a quick round from Lumber, uh, which is this other line here, isn't it? Yeah, we, because we're not shipping these planks quickly enough, we're. Uh, the line itself is slipping out of profit, really. I had hope. Now we've got a longer consist on the other train, the machinery train. And I really do want these planks to start going up to the Bristol hub, but it's picking so few of them. It really is frustrating. And maybe it's because the onward links from that hub aren't quite as cheap or straightforward as they are from, from here. And I really don't quite know. Uh, okay, do we need to change you? We probably do because you're getting a little bit expensive. 
it could just replace you with yourself. Which will simply uh, reduce our costs. Let's do that. That's fine. So which one are you? That you're pulling in here. I love the throaty sound of these engines. It really is very nice. Oh, you see, it's lost that um, flag symbol, lo logo thing that I had. It's strange why it uh, was applying it. Yeah, so you come down in, in, rev in costs, so that's much better. So we should get you back into profit. Okay, Felix Stone, which is what we were here to deal with. Now, I, I, the trouble is I make these kind of plans and I have these ideas and then I look at something else and I think, oh, actually, no, that's better. Um, but uh, so I'm constantly changing my mind. But I think I know what my plan was. My initial plan was to kind of get Felix Stowe served from here. But I don't have enough spare platforms on that station. I can't extend it beyond the five platforms that that uh, mod station supports. Uh, so I'd have to, have to either change the station type, and I don't, because I really like that mod. That is a gorgeous looking station. I'm saying gorgeous too much, aren't I? Oh well, what the heck. Um, but I could put another station in there, but that's, no, that's just overkill really, because I don't think we're going to want that many more lines coming out. So what we're doing, I think, here, is we're going to feed Felixstowe from here, where I do have spare platform capacity. Uh, let's just check that out. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I've only got two lines going in there. Uh, three. I've got three lines. I've got a very faint grey line, which is the stones bringing in, which is a very profitable line, uh, to feed the construction factory, construction materials factory. We've got this uh, purpley, mauvey kind of line, which brings up uh, all sorts of stuff from the Grantham hub. Uh, though rather it doesn't, it takes down the construction materials to the Grantham hub. I'm going to change that so it's going to be able to carry goods in both directions. And uh, we're feeding Thiel with construction materials and anything else that comes from here. And I really don't know why it's storing oil here. So I haven't sent oil. I'm not sending oil anywhere to any plastics factories or anything like that. It is qu quite bizarre. But it the game is quite happy to t transport the oil and it makes money when it delivers it. So I'm not going to complain, basically, at all. So first step of this, I think, is get this northern construction bulk line, which is currently just one train, which is making a modest amount of money. Uh, it made 114 uh, last year. Oh, actually, talking of money, I was going to show you this when we started, which is, of course, our, our company profit uh, sheet revenue sheet for, for each year and I quite like the way the income figure is going up 399 411 428 million last year a profit of 202 million which is probably the best profit we've ever had uh, that doesn't tell me anything useful does it when it comes to profit it'd be nice if there's a chart of profits though I wonder if there is somewhere is there not I'm aware of See, and that, that's a logo, just, just while I'm here, just a sort of distraction, a little tangent. That's a logo I've selected, so why it picked up the, uh, that flag one of mine, uh, that one there, uh, I don't know. I was trying to make my own Ajax Post Transit logo, and it kind of works, but I, it wasn't perfectly or perfectly designed, uh, so I've, I abandoned it in, in favour of that, that other one. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to need to change this vehicle here. Uh, you've got a good power rating. Uh, you're, you're another one of those 130s. Should we stick another 58 on there? You know, I think I might. I think I might. Click that and then click that and then it lets you do what you want to do. Okay, uh, again this is diesel, which is fine. I, mean, I think it's really, my suspicion is, uh, then you probably already know this, that, that speed is probably best for the passengers. So, and, and in, the, in the game now, this, this era, as it were, 
Uh, electrics give you the best speed, generally speaking. So, use. We used that one, didn't we, last? So, we used. Have we got another 58? I thought I had three 58s. I'm not seeing them. Those two there. Oh, these, yeah, these are 47s. Lovely trains, lovely trains, but uh, a bit older now, and they don't have 2750. Oh, it is actually more powerful than this. Some of them are. Oh, that's good. Uh, which one was that? That was this one. Maybe from their different mod set, perhaps. Uh, again, I'll, I'll try and put all the links in in the description below. Or if you, if if not, just just go to my collection uh, again, which is linked in the description. Uh, I'll go to my collection on Steam, and all the the mods I'm using in the game uh, are in that collection. Ninety-five. That is. It's a moderately long distance. You can probably do that. Right, let's do that. Nice 47. And again, that's the Maffy's truck, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. We're not going to limit you in what you can carry. Because I want the game to work out. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we could use container wagons. They only go 75. No. The, uh, the 47 goes 95, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. It'd be nice if we had something like the Naffy, which goes even faster. Uh, do I have the, the multiple unit containers in here? I have them in the American game, the one hubs here. I do. Ooh. They, they, the trouble is, they carry it. They carry an awful lot, but they do go faster. They're only a million a year. So, 90, as opposed to 14. Ooh, 156k a year. As opposed to one million, so ten times the price. <laughs> Ooh. I'm tempted to do that. I am kind of tempted to do. We haven't deployed them yet, have we? So, uh, how much are we carry? 140. So that's two of these. We'll do that. So if we put three of them on, this is going to make this this line extremely expensive. Uh, hang on, that's one, that is two. <laughs> one, two. We could mix it up, couldn't we? One of you. And you look much. Oh, ah, they're different set. Ah, right, got it, got it. Ah, kind of understand now. Right. Wasn't reading the wasn't was not reading the description. So we got three car set, four car set, and a five car set. Will the f uh, yeah. if we take <laughs> one six seven million a year just for some wagons? Right, we'll take one five car set and one. No, we'll leave it at that. Ha, ha, ha. Well, actually, no, because we need another train on here, don't we? So, we'll leave you for a minute. Let's see how this looks. Uh, we'll go for the middle one here. So we're going for that 50, 47, wasn't it? And well played, yep. Yeah. If we stick you on there. Uh, uh, it thinks it's a train or a loco. It's not. Only 111 in, mm, in length. 
and it's good performance. Very good performance. We really stuck that on there as well. Go on up. Uh, 166 yards in length. Still very good performance. Let's try that, shall we? And you're on the northern construction bulk. What do you mean you can't find? Yes, you can. Of course you can. You've got access to... to that platform. Okay, um... You should be able to, shouldn't you? So you're coming out here, going along there. Well, you most certainly have. Well, if you don't want to, let's uh, try it from this depot. Ah! No, I was on the wrong depot. I was on... Yes, that was my mistake. Sorry. Nope. Right, should we do that again? Try and get it right this time. Rail freight grey. I, I won't get... We'll take the four car and the three car. So it's not quite so silly in terms of capacity. Right, and you are still... Oh, still... Yeah. No worry at all. Set you to... Which line? North construction bulk. And you can get there. Top job. So how do you look? You gonna come out? Ever so slowly. You are very slow. But I think we, yeah, I think we can replace uh, this with uh, with that set. So it's a four and three. Actually, are you filling up? Yeah, we don't want you to fill up anywhere. So you can go straight out when you're ready. Okay, ah, right, so you're approaching the hub here. How much is waiting for that line? Well, not a lot. Not a lot at all. Hopefully, if we now add in Felixstowe to this, we should be on to a winner. Yeah, seven machines or ten items. It seems a bit short for such an expensive train. How expensive? Three and a half million a year. I will keep you to one side for the moment. Okay, let's look at Felixstowe. Right, the plan is to take it out from this hub here. So that line, the Northern Construction Hub, which I think I'll have to rename because it's not in keeping now with its purpose. So what lines have we got here? Let's turn that on. And we want you actually to go out that way. So what we could do, I think, let me just pause this for a second. And we need to get you moving into the station. Okay, what we'll do is we'll put the northern construction line coming up into this platform here too. Um, 
because I, they, to get a Felix Stone it's going to have to go out that way and I wanted to share the line that the Northern Stone uh, route is, is using use the same track that the Northern Line Northern Stone <laughs> rather uh, is using uh, no we want uh, tracks for this high speed we're there still okay Oh, there's only one train on there. Oh. Well, that's sad, isn't it? Well, we'll take you out there in case I decide that it is worth uh, double tracking you at some point. So, I'm going to need to. Let you come down here. Okay, I think we should be able to connect that. And you. There we go. Right, this is where everything needs to work perfectly. It's slowing down somewhat there, but it's, it can't really help that. And it kind of makes sense, it's approaching the station. I uh, oh, didn't delete some track. There we go. This should be happy now. So rejoin up. There you go. Okay, so what we need to do is get out of there. Let's check our lines. So Thiel is going to go to platform four. But I need it to switch over. If we make that double slip. Yes. Excellent. No, let's not do that. Have it coming in earlier, like along there. That's better, so it doesn't interfere at all with that other train. Okay, that's you sorted. And you are going to go to platform three, a bit like that. Marvelous. And we do need some signals there. Why did I put the? Oh. Okay, so that kind of makes sense, I suppose, but that doesn't need to be catenary. Uh, I do wish it wouldn't default things I don't want. It's my own fault, I suppose, for not paying attention. Uh, I'll leave that as is. Do we need any more signals out here? I'll put some in. Just for the sake of argument. We'll leave you. Okay, so our new line is going to f come along here and it's going to have to cut off and come into this existing small freight station. It, they're going to be fairly short trains. This is only 160 metres long, I think, isn't it? Yeah, 160. Uh, but that shouldn't be an issue. We can send more trains along there if we want. But we do need to... We don't need to, I suppose, but we will make it two platforms. And it's happy with that. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's get... Out of the way. Don't want more lights yet. Track. Coming up to there. One building, sadly. Bite the dust. And you. Okay, we'll sort the uh, switching out for that in a moment, but first off, we need to get you from this upper line here over there. Can we do we cut underneath? 
that road. Oh, we can. Right, we can. But I'm not sure that's actually joined up there. That's, that's better. Well, don't need it to be quite straight down. That sort of incline should be okay. Then we can bring it. It's going down anyway, isn't it? Because that is, yeah, that is on the side of a mountain, so that's fine. Um, whoops. What? Uh, mm. Oh, we we'll use the standard old fashioned tunnel entrance for that, I think. Let's do that. Oh, it's still, still not joined up. Strength. <sighs> through to there that's good we just need to join you along here somewhere now the the northern stone line which goes along here <coughs> is three trains on that uh, on that route and it do, they do travel quite fast so we don't want to spend too long sharing that that track I I don't think if we can get away with it. That's what I think of a bit of a tunnel, isn't it? I don't suppose we've got much choice in that. No. Or do we? Let's see if that will allow us to connect like that. Yep, 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 right, we can do that. It's not horrifying. It is a nasty gash in the countryside. Well, unfortunately, progress sometimes comes at a cost. And that cost is the beauty. Almost profound. But then again, probably not. Okie dokie, right, so we've got that. What do we need here? If we double slip that. So we've got trains that trains of course coming in on the left. We're using the English uh, direction side thing. <laughs> so right, we will need Oops, a signal there. And a signal there. And we'll put one there. And one there. That should do, I think. And I've still left catenaries on, haven't I? Oh, this man is an idiot. Honestly. And then again, that line is catenary because the Northern Stone line is electric, or it certainly has been at some point. Okay, we're not going to worry about that too much, I don't think. So, yeah, let's get that. So let's get that out of the way. So how do our lines look? The Phoenixstone fuel. You can actually go to platform two. Yep, yeah, that makes more sense. And our new line. Why does it choose such dreadfully dull and almost invisible colours? Uh, we'll use you from there. There. Yeah, lovely. Double tracking. Super. 
and he's picked the right platform the only free platform that is excellent so this will be Felix Stowe Ooh. Freight Bulk I think oh, I can't spell Freight Ah, <laughs> auto save getting in the way again. Uh, just a T on that, isn't it? I think. Is it that? I'm not sure it is. Uh, does it look better with the, the other way around? I'll work it out. Don't worry about that. It's a trivial issue. Trivial issue. Okay, so. Actually, while I'm here, on the Northern Stone Line, uh, we do have electric vehicles, including the Phosphorus Express, uh, named uh, by Mr. Uh, Phosphor... Uh, Phosphor I've, I've forgotten your name. I think it's Phosphorek, isn't it? Regular contributor. Thank you very much for staying with the series and offering names. Um, what are you? Oh, sorry, just look at the profit of that. It's profitable. Don't worry about it. Uh, and sorry, your maximum speed is 99. So it'd be nice. Although that's not very far, is it, from there? We don't need it to be 99. 87 will do fine, I think, won't it? And we're going to need, again, another train from here. And I'll try and pick the correct depot. That's it there. Buy some trains. Should we have a look at electrics? See what we've got. Let's take a look at some modern ones. Yeah, that's what they're so ex extraordinarily powerful now, uh, which means expensive. Uh, even the 75 mile an hour ones. 143. Not for carrying this amount of freight, it's not. No. 6 4, no. Which is why the diesels are so ubiquitous. I love that word. I found I love quite a few words, but that one is is, is one I'm rather fond of. Uh, which is why diesel is so ubiquitous on my map, because it has a modest, suitable amount of power and therefore cost. No, you're too slow. 143. Silly. 99 again. You're just too. Too hunky for the route. You're a bit better, and that's French, isn't it? We don't we don't use many French uh, trains on our lines. You're already passenger, aren't you? Seventy-five. No. Could use. Could use you. The British Rail ones. They, they go fast. The power's okay, so the cost is 118. Which is quite reasonable. But then again, where was that French one we saw there? 167. As opposed to 156. I, I, I use a lot of these, these German locos and stuff. I'm going to again. Shall we use you? Because you're a little, little less powerful. 87. That's oh, actually you're slow. 75. We'll use you. Okay. And for freight. Uh, we could use. Where's that container? We've got the the small containers here. We're using this a lot now, on various routes. Uh, Oh, you only go 75, do you? Oh. Um, have I lost... Where is it? There it is. Okay, we we'll use one of you. Oh, let's stick two of you on there. Just to see how it goes. And... Ooh! You can handle that amount of um, a freight, no trouble at all. So, K 
can we set you? We need to set the line on the Felix Stowe Freight Bulk. Can't find the electric path. And that's because this bit here isn't electrified. It is electrified. It is electrified. And I'm sure I'm using Depot 2, which is this one here. And that is the electrified line. So where's the missing electrics? There's a, is it trying to use some of this perhaps? Is that the problem? As you're trying to go up a way I wasn't expecting it to. Everything else looks green. Ah! Except that bit. It was probably you, wasn't it, that was causing the problem. So can we set you on that Felix Stowe line now? Yes. So you're our new northern line. Uh, I will change that. Oh, we did have. Oh no, that's fine. I was just thinking we did have a vehicle run aged before. I wonder if that's the same line. That's why I want to spell freight, so we'll leave it like that. Northern freight bulk. That's do. That'll do because it's now not just construction materials. You're getting up there. It's not a pretty locomotive, is it? In the same way that. Uh, it's not me just being nationalistic because I, I'm not particularly. I mean, I do love England, and uh, it is pretty much my favourite country most of the time <laughs> in the world. But uh, I think that looks prettier. I think that that's a more handsome train. You shouldn't really say pretty, should you? It's a more handsome train than the than that German one. Again, it could just be familiarity. You tend to love what you're familiar with. Oh, what's, what's going on here? Ah, uh, Northern Freight Bulk. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, take, it's taking that oil down to Thiel. Back to Thiel from me. I don't really know why. It's all very odd. Anyway, that I think is where we're going to leave it today. Uh, we've now got some funky new trains on a couple of routes. And we have set up uh, possibly one of the... the one of the last few freight connections to Felixstowe there, using a slightly unusual route. I, t I seem to have hubs <laughs> all around, uh, all around the uh, the map. Where are you going? Oh, your three tools. Oh, that's pathetic. That is pathetic. Uh, I'm. I'm I think once this Felix Stowe, I'm hoping once this Felix Stowe uh, freight or the mega buses, right? I'm going to pause that there for a second. Uh, no, I, I don't need to. I just need to keep you in view, don't I? Yeah, I've got some mega bus routes which are ancient, so we'll, I'll deal with those off camera. I think. Uh, and again, if it's if I'm using an interesting mod, I'll, I'll show it to you at the uh, the next episode. But uh, yeah, once this Felix Stowe route gets gets running, gets bedded in, we should. Hopefully, see more freight coming up uh, on this line here. So those expensive <laughs> cargo uh, container uh, wagons should start paying their way. But anyway, yes, from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, it would be lovely if you were to click that little thumbs up button and leave us a like. That would be very much appreciated. Um, and that's entirely the wrong place. <laughs> he needs to be over there. Oh.
botherations. Uh, okay, we'll do a quick fix. But yes, I, I'll fix that quickly off camera. But thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this. Give us a thumbs up. Be very much appreciated. But even better, it would be great to hear from you uh, just by dropping a... Uh, a comment into the box below. Any ideas, suggestions, recommendations, even criticisms of what I've done uh, in this game or in this episode, be great to hear from you. And of course, if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to the channel, and that way you can get notified when I upload updates, upload another one of these, or any of my other Let's Play uh, videos. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever, until the next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>